Okay, here we go. Here's something I want to share with you today as well. A little over a year ago, I did a review on a product that was sent to me by the company Canuck, and it's called the Canuck Vecto, and this is the one that they sent me. And I used, actually, probably closer to two years ago, they sent it to me. And I used it quite extensively during the winter time, or excuse me, during the summer time, not so much in the winter, uh, when the lakes are frozen, it's a little harder to get running water. But I used it during the summertime and refilled often using this as my collection bag and my Sawyer Mini as my filter. Um, I had some comments about it that I thought there could be room for improvement. So if you look at this and call this the Generation 1 Canuck Vecto, then I'm about to show you Generation 3. And you're going to see a huge difference between the two of them. By the way, I don't know if you'll notice it. You'll see it when I open up the other one. This one has dulled or yellowed a little bit over time from having so much water in it. And the reason it has is not that it's at all harmful. There's no smells on it. Our water here is quite high in tannins, and tannins will stain anything brown over time. Uh, here's a couple, something I mentioned in one of my comments was the cap on it. I lost the original cap, uh, but true to what their advertising says, you can use any cap that you can find from a pop bottle. So right now it's got a Coca-Cola cap on it. So I did lose the original, and I was afraid I would, and I did. I haven't yet lost the locking bar on it, but I was worried that it might uh, get lost as well. Now, let me show you the improved version. So this is Gen 3, and it addresses a number of issues that were brought to their attention. I think, I'd like to think I had something to do with it. I may have contributed to it. I suspect other people also gave the same comments in. Number one, the cap is connected by a tether to the top. So now you can't lose it. Uh, you can take it off if you really need to, but it's not, you're a lot less likely to use that cap. If you did lose it, you can still use one of the pop bottle caps. At the same time, one of the things they improved, because I felt it was uh, an area for improvement, was the threading. Not only is the area around the threading more stiff, a little firmer, but the, the nozzle itself is stiff and firmer, and they've done something to the threading to allow it to fit better on the Sawyer Mini. Because what I had discovered, in, and in that original video, by the way, I'll post the video up here if you're interested in seeing it, is that the original Canuck Vecto, it was very easy to cross-thread with the Sawyer Mini, and you would end up uh, having water running out the side of it. So, it, you know, it took quite a few times to make sure you got it on straight enough. All right, so that was one improvement. Can you see the difference in colors, by the way? That's what tannin will do, and our water will do to it. On the other end, they attach the locking bar with a tether. And that, that was a, a suggestion that I sent in to them as well. You know, it's, the bag is almost useless without the locking bar. You can't afford to lose it. Why not attach a tether to it? They did. So three huge improvements to this is the locking bar, the stiffened threading and better, uh, better threading for attaching to the Sawyer Mini, Mini, and a tethered cap on this end. Now, the other thing that the company did address, because I was really quite concerned, I wasn't sure, uh, I, well, actually, I didn't realize at the time was, in Canada, and these, these are not that expensive to purchase in the United States, but in Canada, they were running like $90. That, that was just outrageous. And when I talked, contacted the company, and they said it's because they did not have an authorized Canadian distributor at that time, so the person who was selling them at $90 uh, was gouginous, quite honestly. Well, they now have a distributor, and I will annotate the price, the new price on the screen, and of course, give you some links in the uh, information in the show notes below, where you can purchase the Canuck Vecto. All the good things I said about it in my original video, I still stand by. It is my summertime carry for, for uh, water purification, and it will stand up to, to the abuse of carrying it just as a water bottle. If you just want to use it as a water bottle and attach it to the outside of your back, backpack uh, as a means of carrying extra water, you know, or when you're not using it, it will roll up nice and flat. And I'll be using it in a minute to uh, filter myself some water. Rolls up nice and flat. You can put it away in your pack without, you know, a lot of space taken up. They have a, this is a two liter version, by the way. Uh, they have a three liter version now, and they have it so that you connect it end to end with one of the filters like the Sawyer and a few others that they, they recommend. And then you can have a gravity fed filtration system and hang it from a tree. You can do that without having a second one, but it's nice to have a dirty bag and a clean bag. Then you can fill one up with the dirty water connect it and let it uh, drain into the clean water one while you do something else around the camp. Is there anything else to show you? All right, that's everything I have. Uh, 
I haven't shown you my lunch, but I will in a minute, and I'll show you my coffee. Those are two other things that I wanted to show you. Yeah, right now, it's time to filter some water. Canteen, Sawyer Mini, screw the Sawyer Mini on, ensuring that it goes on straight on the threads. Turn it upside down to make sure there's no leakage. appears to be a bit of an issue getting it on straight. Alright, that's better. Make sure that there's no water, dirty water, running down the outside. Remove the cap and start filtering. Now, there's no <laughs> rushing this. I mean, you can squeeze it But it's still going to take a few minutes to fill up this 750 milliliter bottle. You know, I think I'll do a separate video on water purification in general. Not just this system, but all the systems I have and just some general information on water purification. To me, in the summertime, this is the easiest, fastest, most uh, foolproof way of filtering water. I know people will say boiling is, and yes, boiling is the most foolproof way, but it takes a lot of time and a lot of energy to boil enough water to meet your needs. It takes a lot of fuel, and if you're going to wait for the, to the water to cool down before you drink it, that's going to take time. Well, I have just filled my bottle and the time it took for us to have this conversation. There. And I can put that aside because I'm going to need some for cooking. That's great. No, no bad flavors on it at all. Alright, I think it's time to make some lunch.